In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a clickable phone number to anywhere you want in Elementor. Anywhere you can add a link, you can add a clickable phone number. Here's an example right here. Both of these options are clickable phone numbers. When I click on them on a desktop, I get the option to call from Skype if I have Skype installed or other apps will allow you to do this as well. Or if your phone's a hotspot, you can do this as well on desktop. But these really shine on mobile devices where if someone taps them, they'll be asked if they want to call this number and they click yes or confirm whatever the button text is and then it will call that number without your visitor having to enter anything. Just click two buttons and they're already phoning you. And I'm also gonna show you how to hide this on desktop in case you don't want desktop users having these clickable phone links because it doesn't work very well on desktop. This tutorial is part of the Elementor Skills playlist where you gain a solid foundation in Elementor so you can build better and bigger websites. That playlist is linked to in the description down below so make sure you check it out after you watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments about this specific video, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. The first thing we have to do is open an Elementor page so we can actually add the clickable phone number. So let's go to Pages and let's go to the Contact page. Seems like a great place for a phone number. And even though we're adding this directly to a page, you could also add this into a header in Elementor. There's other tutorials in this Elementor Skills playlist that show you how to create a header and you can easily add a phone number to that that's clickable. And these phone numbers are only clickable on mobile. These will not work on desktop computers. You'll get an error. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that clickable phone numbers don't appear on desktop so it doesn't ruin your user experience. So right now on the contact page, let's just open this in preview. We have two phone numbers. They are not clickable, but they exist. When you hover over them, they do change color, but you can't click them to call. We're going to change these into links that you can click to call. So let's go back into the Elementor editor and click on the phone numbers. These are added as an icon list. You can do this with pretty much any kind of element. It can be a headline element, it can be a regular text element, anything that you can click on and add a link to, you can add a phone number to. So let's click on this, open the item, and we see here a spot for a link. To add a telephone link, what you do is you type in T-E-L colon and the phone number. I'll just copy and paste the phone number from here, paste that right in there, and now we're gonna have this phone number as the clickable phone number. I'm just gonna get rid of the brackets and the spaces just to be safe. And here we have the phone number, the North American phone number, which is these seven numbers. And then we have an area code, which is these three numbers. You can also have a country code if you want, plus one for North America, plus lots of other things for different countries in the world. And if you have a different phone number style for your part of the world, make sure you enter the appropriate phone number style for your area. Then anybody in your area with a mobile phone can touch this link and call this number. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Let's add it to the other one as well. Let's just copy this phone number again. T-E-L colon, paste that in. Take out the spaces and the brackets and add a plus one for North America. Then click on update. And now we have clickable links. If I click on it, since I'm on desktop, it doesn't actually phone, but we get a little notification that says we can call from Skype if we want to. If I had my phone connected as a hotspot, I'd be able to call with my phone through my computer. If you don't have either of those things, it will show an error. If you want to make it so that people don't have a clickable option on desktop, you can conditionally show and hide elements based on which device is being used. So if we go back into here, I'm just going to duplicate this now we have two copies of the exact same thing. On the second one, I'm gonna take out the link. So it's no longer a click the call button or link, not a clickable phone number. And then I'm going to go into advanced and scroll down to responsive. And this one, the second one, which doesn't have the clickable phone number, we're going to hide on tablet and hide on mobile. So it only shows on desktop. And the first one, we're gonna click on it and go to advanced go to responsive and we're gonna hide on desktop and it now shows on mobile and tablets. And that's how we can make sure the click to call buttons are not shown to desktop users. So if I come back out here, refresh the page, I'm on a desktop, so these are not clickable. Now if I go to inspect and change my user agent to a phone or a tablet, 
it now shows these as clickable because when I click on them, the Skype option shows up. And if I was on an actual mobile phone, it would actually ask if I want to call this number and then I could call the number. And so in this case, we had both letters, words and numbers as the clickable phone number, but this could be a button. It could be an image. It could be just the phone number. It could be just words, what, anything, anything you can add a link to anything that has a link attribute like you see in here, link or anything you can highlight and add a link to any piece of text can be a click to call phone number. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you want to check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link. So if you buy through that link, I do get a commission and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me. And that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss your future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.